Hey guys, and CSFan001 here, welcome to another one of those weekly trophy list update videos. Uh, this will have been covering the week of March 4th through March 10th of 2019. Uh, this is probably going to be a pretty short one just because I'm uh, kind of tired. I've started going to the gym again for the first time in like six months. I know it's good for you, but it's, uh, it's a little bit tiring, so haven't had, has been draining a little bit of time, but a lot of energy, so that's just why this is going to be kind of a shorter one and haven't been trophy hunting as much this week. So I don't think I got anything in Fallout 76 this past week. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I just want to look through and make sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like I did, but we're supposed to get the first DLC like this week. It's some kind of brewing update or something. So we'll see how that is. Maybe I don't know if it's going to add in trophies or not. I'd be a little surprised if it did because it seems like just a very minor... Uh, DLC, but you never know. It might have, it might have trophies. It might not. We'll see. Uh, more importantly, though, the main two things I was playing. Uh, one of them is Spider-Man. I haven't touched the DLC just yet, but I'm getting pretty close to the end of the main game. I'm at like 92% completion. So in this past week, I unlocked all the skills and hit level 50. I beat the Taskmaster. You only end up fighting him twice. Thought you were gonna fight him more. Found all the backpacks, uh, took down all the demon warehouses, all the fisk hideouts, all the sable outposts, all the prisoner camps, all faction crimes in a single district. I'm working through the districts pretty quickly. Purchasing all the suits. Now, this is one that's interesting because it requires challenge tokens to do all of this. And I'm assuming that if you were to purchase all of the upgrades for your abilities and stuff first then you might be in a bit of trouble with this one to where you'll have to pretty much beat all of the uh, Taskmaster challenges all to uh, the third level, so like actually fully beat them if you don't do this. So do keep that in mind. Like Focus on using the challenge tokens only for suit purchases until you get that trophy done. And then once you've done this trophy, go back and go ahead and purchase other upgrades and stuff or just wait to carry over some of it into New Game Plus, I would assume. You could do that. Uh, that's a side mission type, so nothing too difficult there. I mean, none of these trophies are really difficult at all. I mean, I'm still doing everything on normal difficulty, and it hasn't been very difficult for the most part. couple of mishaps here and there, but not much to where it's not really that difficult overall. Uh, complete every Taskmaster challenge, did that. All the research stations, done with that. These are all just basically various side activities and side missions. Uh, completed Act 2, got that done. Uh, along with defeating Electro and Vulture, which is story-related, so that's unmissable. Tombstone is... I think he's unmissable, but I could be wrong on that. He might be side quest-related instead of story-related, but I took him down as well. Uh, then you have Catching All the Pigeons. That's another world activity. Uh, knock together 10 pairs of enemies with Trip Mines. I never really realized how powerful Trip Mines can actually be. They work pretty well. Uh, completed all side missions, so done with that. So there's not a whole lot of things you really have to do overall in the open world compared to some games out there, so that's that's a good thing. And uh, four unique tricks while, before landing is pretty easy. You just have to purchase a certain skill first before you can do it. And finishing all the optional projects in the lab, there's 20 of them, got all those done. Uh, they're pretty easy, they're just spectrographs and electrical circuits. So nothing too difficult there. So what I'm currently missing now, uh, that, that's going to be the trophy I saved for last most likely because it's easy to save for last. Uh, this is a story-related trophy. That's a story-related trophy. Uh, that's for Act 3, I believe. So that's a story-related trophy. So three more story-related trophies, a couple of miscellaneous trophies, and 100%ing all districts, which is going to be the most annoying part because it does require you to complete all the random crimes in each district. So that can be a little bit annoying because they're very randomized, but it's still not terrible. Just a little bit luck-based. Uh, then we still got New Game Plus where you have to beat the game. I'm going to complete the game on New Game Plus on Ultimate. Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder, but not too bad. From what I've heard, the Heist DLC is pretty easy, but the Turf Wars DLC and Silver Lining are a little bit harder. So we'll see how those go. I'll probably do those DLCs before I do New Game Plus, though, just in case they do turn out to be a lot harder, so I don't... Well, no, the Ultimate playthrough will save to a different save slot, so it's probably going to be okay. 
And then the other game I've been playing this week is Lego Jurassic World. Uh, I've only been playing since Saturday night when I was doing my 2,000 subscriber uh, live stream celebration because, for those who don't know, recently hit 2,000 subscribers. So very, very happy about that. It's awesome to have hit that milestone. It's been uh, eight years in the making now, eight or nine years in the making. It'll be nine years this year, actually, but really it's only about eight years as of March 17th when I first started doing Let's Plays, so it's been about eight years, really. Uh, LEGO Jurassic World, this is a pretty typical LEGO game. So far, I have completed the story, which gives you quite a few trophies in this one, which gives you, it gives you every trophy through that, so quite a few trophies, actually. Uh, then you have True Survivor in any level, that's very easy, that's just the stud meter. Uh, you have to do all the mini kits, haven't gotten around to that yet, obviously. I mean, you can't do it on your first playthrough, most of them are going to be unobtainable at first. Uh, custom dinosaur, very easy. Uh, then you have an amber brick, but you have to collect all of them. Uh, those, I think, unlock more dinosaurs, but I could be wrong on that. 65 million studs is easy, custom characters easy. Uh, what else? Then we have the rescue, all the workers in peril and heal. All the dinosaurs are both open world activities. There's like 20 workers and 10 dinosaurs you have to get. So nothing too difficult there, but you might actually not be able to get the dinosaur one until you have done all the story missions as well because I think that there are some that are only in-story missions that count. Uh, there's like 20 races you have to complete. Uh, a couple of those can be a little more annoying, but not too bad. 20 photographs to do, uh, nothing too bad there. 100% completion, typical of a LEGO game. Get all the red bricks. There's 20 of them that give you like stud multipliers and stuff. Uh, true Survivor on all levels, nothing difficult there, especially once you have the multipliers. Uh, 50 goons, that is most likely going to come naturally, but it's it's the little tiny green dinosaurs, to be more clear. Uh, custom dinosaur in a paddock, I think that one's easy. This one's easy. Uh, that one's easy, though I thought I already did it. I guess I, guess I didn't. Uh, maybe it was just the wrong terminal type. Uh, that's pretty easy once you unlock the raptor. This one's pretty easy as long as you have Dennis Nedry. Uh, then you have to do, this is story related, this is story related, so there's, there's a lot of story related trophies in this game, like nearly two thirds of the trophies have some kind of, well no, about 60% of the trophies are tied to the story in some way, which is kind of nice. Uh, that one's not too difficult, this one's easy, uh, this one's easy once you get Mr. DNA, and I think this one's easy, but I don't remember what you do for it, so I'm gonna have to look at the guide for that one. So it's basically just a typical 100% the game and do a few other miscellaneous activities and you will get your Platinum. Uh, no DLC and no multiplayer trophies in this LEGO game. It is a PS3 one, so it wasn't very common on the PS3. Uh, this is one of the last LEGO games I'm going to do on PS3 though, just because they are really, really buggy and just not fun to play on the PS3. I'd much rather just do the PS4 versions of LEGO games from here on out. There might be one more that I do, the Lego Star Wars Clone Wars game, just because it's like the hardest one, so it'd be kind of nice to have the hardest of the true Lego games done. Now, that doesn't count Lego Worlds, which isn't really a true Lego game. It's more of a Lego Minecraft hybrid, and Lego Rock Band, which is more Rock Band than... It's just Rock Band with Lego characters. So, with that, actually, let me go ahead and sync, or I might have already done that. Like I said, I'm kind of tired. It's kind of late. Uh, with that, level 64, 16%, 15,950 total trophies, 362 platinums, 2,003 golds, 4,028 silvers, 9,557 bronzes. So, uh, in this upcoming week, I purchased a couple of games on the latest EU sale, but over the next week, I will hopefully platinum Spider-Man as well as LEGO Jurassic World PS3 and get both of those done. To where then I can jump into a couple of easy games, maybe jump into Fallout 76 when the next update drops. I'll hit 16,000 trophies in the very near future. Uh, the other major game, though, is Watch Dogs 2, actually. I was able to get the gold edition of the game, which comes with the season pass, which comes with the paid DL which is the paid DLC that has trophies to it for $20 on the Ubisoft sale, and that $20 for the, se for the Gold Edition, so the game and the Season Pass, was cheaper than the Season Pass is alone, which is crazy. So I purchased that because I never see that stuff on sale for that good of a price, and I'm not going to keep waiting. So I am, in the near future, going to get Watch Dogs 2 done to 100%, which is great. Finally be done with that, finally get it out of the backlog. It's nothing particularly hard left, just uh, not even all that time consuming. It was just expensive to purchase the DLCs, so hopefully get that done soon. That'll be great. 
Uh, and then when I go back to clean up old games, it's going to be looking at probably Far Cry 2 in the near future, uh, Black Ops 1, and The Division. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you for the next one.